Hey guys, Max and Western Real Fan here. We're we're at the Pennsylvania Avenue Grade Crossing here in Delaware, Ohio. This crossing got two gated signals, each with each with lights and one mechanical bell. So let's dive right in. Here's a signal looking east. It's got a single-sided safe train base. It's got a Safe Trans Systems Corporation gate mechanism. It's probably an older version, I believe. It's pretty interesting as well. Let's see, let's fade out. Here's emergency information, dot tag. It's, and dot tag this crossing is 22866S. And we got four pairs of 12 by 24 inch second generation LEDs and Western Cullen Hayes frames. Pretty neat to see. And this crossing's got Rico LED gate lights. So, and here's side view of the crossing. It's got a safe transjunction box. And uh, yeah, here's the side view of the lights. And you'll notice on this pedestrian gate crossing, this is the first pedestrian gate crossing. This is like one of the very few pedestrian crossings we've ever get in Ohio. I mean, you can see one on Park Avenue if you want to, if, you, if you're really lucky. You can see this is a safe train base, single sided. It's got a safe train gate mechanism. It's got, and it's got, I didn't think, and it's got a Rico LED gate light. I'm gonna get over to the other signal. Track grade's mostly all concrete. And, uh, here's a, yeah, here's a view facing southbound towards Columbus area, Powell, and uh, other places. And here's a view looking northbound towards uh, Radnor, Prospect, and Marion. You can see that there's a track that's branching off right there, down there. So it's pretty neat to see, as far as my opinion. It's crossing this all kind of wood, it's concrete. I don't know if there's any conduit in this crossing, but we'll have to check it out later. So, here's a here's the next pedestrian gate signal. It's got a safe train base. It's got a safe train systems gate mechanism. And it's got one Rico LED gate light. So, it's pretty interesting to see it in this crossing. You can see that there's a relay bungalow down in the northeast quadrant. Owned by CSX. I don't know if this is like the equipment defect detector. Maybe. Okay, I'll get across the street and show you in a second. Alright, so here's the signal facing westbound. Let me pull up to you really close. There's a safe train base. It's got a safe train gate mechanism. You can see that crossing over there does not have a bell at all. It's just like some kind of built-in cap, maybe. Same dot tag. And it's got Western Cullen Hayes, four pairs of LED lights. They look a little bit dotted. I don't know if they're made by Electrotex or whatnot. And this crossing's got Rico LED gate lights. A little kind of hard to see the logo because it's really bright. And uh, side view of the lights. Each with a safe train junction box. And this one's got a Western Cullen Hayes mechanical bell. So you can see that there's a there's another bungalow down there. I don't know if it's it's owned by a CD25.17. I'm just reading off of it. It's got a satellite dish installed on it. So I'm not even sure what year this, this crossing was put up, but probably had to do something with the, I don't know, maybe it had a lot of signal rebuild programs. It's a little hard to see signals down there because it's hard to tell when, the, when they appear green or red depending on time of day. And, and this track all, goes all the way by Smith Park, so if, if you ever guys are in the mood to watch trains, it's, Smith Park's a great place to do so. If you guys like this video, make sure to hit the like button and give us a, a thumbs up. Stay tuned for more railroad videos, so stay tuned.